Flight 93 is now over Pennsylvania and still descending. Local residents report seeing an aircraft flying unusually low and fast. Three of the four planes in this coordinated attack on the U.S. have hit their targets. Zia Jaraf and his holy warriors are now only 22 minutes from the capital. Everybody on the, the plane seemed to be on the same page in terms of we have this information. This is what this information is telling us, that this is really our only hope. Um, we need to act upon this information. Well, he said, I'm going to take a vote to see if we should attack uh, the hijackers. OK, honey, we voted on it. We're going to do it. We can't stay here any longer doing nothing. I can just imagine him going, they're not going to get away with it. There's no way this is going to happen to me, because this will not happen to me, because I'm me, and who have I got here? What can we do? Because it's always that team aspect, and how can, what can we do to overcome this? He was working with Tom and Todd Beamer and Lewis Nash. Jeremy Click was a judo champion. I also think Lauren was actively involved in coordinating who would do what because of her emergency medical tra training. And I'm certain they quietly conducted their plan not to let the enemy know what was what was being conspired. You had to be working together. It wasn't somebody saying, well, we can't do that. We need to sit still. Andy was a pilot. He was a clear thinker. He was very calm. He was very level-headed. So I just have to believe that his knowledge and experience was used. Oh, yeah. Well, that's of course you could. The passengers and crew gather weapons. Just get all over the wagon. All right. And also the forks directly into the eyes also. Go for the eyes. The galley is equipped with knives and forks, and it can boil a pint of water every four minutes. We're boiling water to throw it in, but do you have any more ideas? Using the cart would have been a good weapon. I mean, that thing, uh, what does it weigh, three or four hundred pounds? I would not have wanted to be in front of it when it's rolling. I just want to talk to somebody and let someone know this is happening. He told me that they were going to get together and jump the guy with the bomb. I asked him if he's sure that's what he wanted to do. He said at this point, he's going to have to go out on his faith because he didn't have much of a choice. Oh, Phil, everyone's running up to first class. I got to go. Bye. The next thing I heard, he turned to someone else, and he said, are you ready? They said, OK. He said, let's roll. 